Hello, and welcome to A to Z Music. Today, we will be counting down the top 10 most hated music artists of all time. There's a lot of interesting genres out there with a lot of great music artists. However, there are probably just as many terrible, or maybe not even that terrible, but famous artists that people just cannot stand. Number 10, Maroon 5. While not exactly a single artist, most of the popularity of Maroon 5 revolves around the lead singer, Adam Levine. Well, so does most of the hate. I mean, the dude has a pretty good voice in my opinion, I can't quite figure out why so many people hate him. Or them, I should say. People seem to forget that Moron 5, I mean Maroon 5, has more than just one band member, although no one really knows or cares to name them other than Adam. Number 9, Metallica. While a huge following absolutely love Metallica, a lot of people can't stand them. Maybe it has something to do with St. Anger? That album was atrocious. Didn't someone mention there wasn't even one guitar solo on the entire album? How do you write a metal album without even one guitar solo? Another reason would have to be Lars Ulrich. A subpar drummer at best, and even that's arguable. It is strange after all these years with such a good pool of talent in the group to keep a guy who can barely even play his instrument to keep the guy around. And apparently he's a real jerk. Number 8, Courtney Love. As a musician, she definitely wasn't all that bad. And when she was younger, she didn't look as bad as she does now. Go ahead and Google search a picture of her before her massive drug addiction. Although musicianship wasn't her biggest downfall, it was the fact that she was married to Kurt Cobain. Which brings me to the main point. A lot of people still blame her for the death of Kurt Cobain still to this day. It has never been proven that she had direct involvement in his murder, I mean suicide. Rumor had it that Kurt Cobain was going to divorce her and she would have lost her share of his millions. Number 7, Axl Rose. Let's be honest, Axl Rose has probably one of the most annoying voices in rock and roll. He was also pivotal in both the rise and fall of Guns N' Roses, which is the main reason why people have a love and hate feelings over this guy. He had massive drinking problems which led to the original members not wanting to deal with Rose anymore, and so the band split up. And now that Guns N' Roses has gotten back together, we are blessed with a guitarist with a damn KFC bucket for a hat. Classy. Real classy. Come up to meet you. Number 6. Coldplay. Another band that basically revolves around one member Chris Martin. They do write some pretty catchy and memorable tunes, however, a lot of people just can't bear to listen to their music. It could perhaps have something to do with their style. While very pop sounding, it's also relatively mellow and could possibly put you to sleep. I think the hate, however, has to do with their music writing capabilities. Maybe it's just not in depth enough to be classified as a greatly written song. It seems as though many people think listening to Coldplay is tedious because it's just so boring and cold. The cold as ice and high and dry The desert what's about you in his sleep Number 5, Miley Cyrus How is Miley still even relevant? I guess it helps when daddy is a country music star and you grew up in front of millions of brainwashable children on the Disney Channel. A lot of people believe Miley is talentless and absolutely outright insane. It seems to a lot of people that she does a lot of crazy publicity stunts just to get attention while tons of fans love it other people think that she really needs to put some clothes on and keep her modesty. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you. Number 4, Oasis. You either love them or you hate them. These two brothers, Liam and Noel Gallagher, could write some really catchy tunes. However, just couldn't seem to get things together well enough or long enough to please each other and their fans. And it's the fans who count the most when it comes to music. Displease them and you'll fall like flies. Their constant feuds, drug addictions, and attitude towards most things are the reason why many fans gave up on them and why they gave up on themselves. And if I start writing songs like that, people would just see through it immediately. You can only write about what you respect where you are. Do you honestly believe that though? As a songwriter, can you only... No, I'm lying. No, no. Look at this photograph. Every time I do it makes 
Number 3, Nickelback. Talentless, annoying, and just outright dumb, that pretty well sums up how most people feel about Nickelback. They definitely try way too hard, and that's why people can't stand them. They are way too much of everything to be something, and it's true. They're known best for writing catchy pop rock songs, while a lot of the time just seem to go way over the top trying to be very metal. Number 2, Justin Bieber. I remember the first time I ever heard Baby, I legitimately thought it was a girl. I think majority of people around the world hate this young rich kid's music mostly because they're jealous of his success in managing to appeal to 12 year old girls. Well, guess what people, that's where the money is at. No dad ever wants to make their little girl cry, so off to Ticketmaster.com to purchase two $400 tickets to a JB show. There's more to it, and I think it has to do with the music style. Again, while not appealing to many people, it's a style that has been selling records for many years now. It's a sellout system that works, and if it ain't broke, why fix it? Yeah. And in the number one spot, we have Rebecca Black. I guess it would have been pretty easy to figure out number one, right? The like to dislike ratio on Friday's music video on YouTube pretty much indicates that, well, a lot of people really hated it. The song itself was very poorly written, maybe by a five-year-old. The music in the song was just blah. And her voice, unfortunately, so distastefully auto-tuned, it's ridiculous. Unfortunately for Rebecca, her poor choice to make that video public will live on with her forever. The harsh comments by viewers and critics still accumulate and so do the dislikes. But hey, at least the girl gets to collect a bunch of AdSense revenue from it when people have to show their friend the worst song ever recorded. Well, that's all from us folks. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash that dislike button down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when we post our next top 10 video.